What's good, YouTube? It's Mega Man 1 through 78 here. Today we have my first ever Yu Gi Oh! blog. We're gonna go to locals, we're gonna play some games. We got some Dogmatica invoked. Hopefully, we get some interesting matchups. Walk you through three eyes through everything. We get to see what's going on. Um, I'm a bit nervous, first time ever trying something out like this, but hey, let's see what we do. Most important thing is the games. Hopefully, we get some good games today. We can record them, but uh, my Uber is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. But before that, we should have the deck profile coming up in just a little bit. Got my PPE, so nobody gotta go ahead and worry about whether or not we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh safely. So remember, go ahead. If you wanna see more content, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys right, later. Hey there, guys. Today we're playing Dogmatica Invoke at Locals. Normally I play Infernoble Knights, but I wanted to try to mix things up. And so we're gonna go ahead and do this little profile real quick before we gotta go. Gotta go in like three minutes. So we have three Alistair, three Ecclesia, two Fleur de Lis. Uh, would play a Maximus, but I actually don't have a Maximus. So we're going without her today, or him, whatever it is. Uh, we're gonna play the Dragoon Package, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Best Arts. You can at me at that. Then why Dogmatica is good. Hand Traps, we got three Ash. Baylor, to uh, Ghost Ogre, then we have Spells, Terraforming, and three Magical Meltdowns, followed by two Invocation. Okay, uh, more Spells, obviously we're playing the three Meteor Servant. Then we have three Forbidden Droplet, this card's insane when you main deck it. Two tactical talents because we lost Called by the Grave. And then the one of Called by the Grave because why not? It's really sacky when you play it. Um, if I had it, this would be the Maximus. And then one Red Eyes Fusion, obviously, to round off our spells. For traps, we're just playing one punishment. You can bump it to two. Uh, I'm currently testing it at one. I like it. Let's see how it goes. The one schism. Two summon limits because I really like messing with people and summon limits always fun when you have like a window backed up back behind it with some back rooms, hand traps, and then three imperm to complete everything in the main deck. For the extra, it's pretty standard. We are playing two Makaba, one Purgatrio, and one Iguanius. Iguanius is just insane in some matchups, so it's, it's actually really good to make. Then shell, shell package, we're playing Apcolone and um, Window. If we were playing um, if we were playing Maximus, we'd put Construct in, and I'll show you what we would face for Construct. Then we got two Intus, one Titanoclad, and of course the Dragoon that rounds off our fusions. For Links, we're playing the obvious Almirage, Secure Gardena, and Vertanaconda. Then to round off, we're doing one uh, Wind Pegasus Static Mister and the one Cyphering Omega. This would actually be the construct if we had the Maximus. Side deck today, I'm expecting a lot of um, Eldritch, some Dragon Link, Dinos. So let's see. Oh, and also um, Thunder Dragons. They have a lot of people. Oh, this is one guy who plays Thunder Dragons. We're doing three Lancia, three Nibiru, three Cosmic, three Dark Ruler No More and three evenly matched. All right, so I'll see you guys in the games. Alright guys, so it's later. It's post round one. We actually lost. Uh, uh, we, we went to game three. 
It was against Dragon Link, so I'm probably gonna have the footage rolling over here on the side or something like that. But uh, just to go ahead and recap, game number one, uh, he gets the he wants the die roll. He goes first. He sets up his board. There's not really much I can do about it. You know, typical Dragon Link stuff. Um, if I recall correctly, um, I don't even remember what I drew exactly. I just know that it, it wasn't really that good. So, um, oh, now I remember. Okay, so it was two Nadir Servant, a Valor, two Nadir Servant, a Valor. Fleur de Lis and uh, I forget what the last card was. Oh, it was Talents, that's what it was. That was the last card. So, um, he does kind of like this desperate play where he summons Rocket Tracer and he links to Striker Dragon. Doesn't use the effect, but he banishes the Striker Dragon for the Red MD. And then he tries to use Red MD's effect, and I felt like that was kind of desperate. So, that's why I dropped the Veil on him. And then he, I get to play, but. I don't get to go far, I get to use the droplet, sorry, I get to use Servant to search for Ecclesia. But then, uh, I search for Punishment, send off the Apcolone so I get Schism. And on his turn, he Feather Dusters me, um, pretty much sealing the game at that point. Game number two, I got to go first though. So, I did basic invoke combos, so ended off the board with a Makaba and a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. He couldn't really play through that. He tried, he tried his best, but I was able to, to pretty much stop him and then win the game after that. Uh, game number three, he actually lets me go first, which I anticipated, but unfortunately, bricked. Uh, I believe like the hand was Talents, Third Lees, Invocation, Ash, and Imperm. Really couldn't do anything with that. Um, there was a bit of a mishap in the beginning where he activates Chaos Space and discards Ross Fear Mode. And uh, I ash it, which proceeds to him to talent me and take out the infirm. But we caught it. Well, I caught it. Uh, you can't discard Ross Fear Mode for Chaos Space because it's divine. It was a repairable game state, so uh, we kind of kept it to ourselves. We kept going with that. And he misplayed also as well with. Uh, um, no, my bad. He didn't misplay. Sorry. It was pretty much after that we took everything back. I got to reuse my uh, impermanence and Ash Blossom differently. It didn't really matter though. Yeah, um, Dragon Link can just play through so many hand traps, you really stand a chance, but... So, we're we'll starting round 2, X1. Hopefully, we can do better than that. It's only 4 rounds, so... We really can't afford to take another loss, and... There's 13 players, so there's a potential for a buy. If we get a buy, that also sucks, but let's see what goes on. Hey YouTube, Mega and Post here. Unfortunately, my footage for round 2 was corrupted. Sorry about that. Uh, instead of just skipping my recap altogether, though, I got this random game on Guild Book uh, to play while I talk about round two. Hope you don't mind. Thank you guys for watching. All right, so round two just finished up. We lost uh, 2 0. Opponent was playing Dark Magician. Um, crazy, honestly. It was, it was nice shit. You got all the the high rarity stuff. It's really nice. Very pretty. Uh, game one. Kinda just summoned Dragoon on me. <laughs> he had Dragoon, he had a bunch of uh, back row. And then on his turn, after the Dragoon was done, he um, was just navigate, brought out a bunch of Dark Magicians. And that was pretty much it. There was not really much I could do about that. Uh, game two, I got to go first. Uh, I opened up um, with Nadir Servant. We searched for Ecclesia. We got Punishment. We set Punishment, we set Cosmic. And then we end the turn. Uh, we search uh, Titan. We search Fleur de Lis off Titan Clad. Or sorry, we search Ecclesia off Titan Clad because we already had a Fleur de Lis in hand. Uh, on his turn, um, he does he he does Circle first. He adds an Illusion Magic to his hand. Uh, this is one of those first series of misplays I make. Uh, when he summons Magician's Rod, I decide to go Ogre it. Don't know why I did that. I should have just let it rock. Honestly, it wasn't going to do much. But I was thinking about trying to like play around to him uh, having a monster for the illusion magic, but I forgot. Illusion magic is quick play, so he just did that. Got two dark magicians. Um, the rest of his turn, excuse me. It was um for the rest of his turn, he he, he got a dark magician on board with uh, another creature. Um, he does a bunch of stuff actually. He, he like successor souls me. And so he gets an, another Dark Magician out, and like his board is like two Dark Magicians, uh, an Ebon Illusion Magician, and uh, the other Dark Magician is Dark Magician when it's on the field. So he does that. Thankfully, Success Soul only lets him attack with one creature, so 
He attacks direct for the 25. He makes the lean. And uh, this is the second misplay I'm making this game. When he makes the lean, I have the Veiler in hand. I should drop the Veiler to negate, but I don't. But I figure it's okay because I have a uh, Flare de Lise. And on my turn, I, I top deck another Flare de Lise, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, we normal Ecclesia, we don't get a search because that was the last dog match. So we're back after the last round Swiss. Uh, I won my last round, won it 2-0. Uh, the opponent was playing Generators. Pretty cool, I've actually never seen the deck before, so it was nice to see it. Nice uh, so to see some other things besides, you know, Dragon Link, Dinosaurs, typical meta stuff, right? That's why uh, my, heart, my favorite matches of the whole tournament was definitely the Dark Edition. And the Generator player 
just because you don't see those open. So, uh, so game one, um, I got to go second. He tries to, um, I think he's almost like, I, I don't know the names of the cards, but he's something like the level four generator. It uh, searches for a generator card by tributing itself. Uh, he tries to do something with that, but I ash it. He sets a card and passes. I draw for turn. I normal summon Alistair. He chains the, uh, chains, uh, I think it's like boss fight or something like that. The draft card did like some activate boss days from his deck. So he did that. Um, I ended up ashing the boss days because I, I drew two ashes on my first turn. So that was pretty much it. I put a Makaba and Ecclesia. He couldn't really play after that. Uh, for game two, he gets to go first again. He does a lot more. Um, he pretty much gets uh, on his turn. He gets to uh, the. He gets to the. Um, I'm thinking. He gets to boss stage, the, the field spell, and he summons uh, Har. I think that name of it was Har. It uh, lets him. So it lets him negate card effects and like that. I forgot what it actually was, but he did that. He summoned a bunch of tokens. Uh, he also did a dimensional barrier, which prevented me from summoning fusions. So that was cool. Um, from there, I just summoned Ecclesia since I opened the Dogmatica half of my deck and uh, searched for Fleur de Lis. And pretty much, um, I left it from there. Um, I was able to get over Har. I don't remember how I got over Har, but I got over the Har. And so he was left with uh, one or two cards in hand. Um, I don't remember what exactly he did, but during my turn, he summoned the level four again and four tokens with it. Using the level one, he tries to uh, add card, but should be one of the tokens, but I infirm it. And then I make a uh, perk trio. And that was, that was pretty much it. So overall, I came seventh. I actually had a lot of fun despite uh, um, Despite everything, you know, I would have loved to have played more since they were throwing a second tournament. But I got things that I have to do after this. So that's all. Remember, guys, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.